Hi gamers, welcome. It so happens that I need to uh, refill my uh, rot greases on this character that you see over here. As you can see, I am actually left with only 46 in the storage. So yeah, I think that's a perfect opportunity to show you Elden Ring save editor made by Clyamore, as it is super powerful tool for both PC and PlayStation gamers. I'm actually going to show you step by step how I take this character from PlayStation, move it to PC, and then going to essentially refill my supplies. And then after that, I'm gonna move character back to the PlayStation, maybe I'm also going to take one of my PC characters to the PlayStation on the way, because why not? So first thing that I'm going to need is a USB stick. Let's quit out the game and what I'm going to do is to move my saves to the USB. I'm going here to the save data and I am going to choose upload or delete from console storage. And here copy to the USB drive. That's what I'm going to do. It's PS4 version of the game, by the way. You cannot do these things on the PS5 version. But if you are playing on the PS5 version of the game, then honestly you just should stop. Like that version of the game is actually so much worse than PS4 version. More input lag, worse FPS everything basically inferior, so please stop doing that. All right, we are on the PC. I have already plugged in the USB stick. The next thing you're gonna need to have is a save wizard, and that one is not free. So you're gonna have to buy it from the savewizard.net, and you have to buy the one with the advanced mode, so it is actually $60. I'm sorry, I know that sucks, but that's the only way currently that is available for the sake of to move your saves to the PC. Now I'm going to open the save wizard. We are going through the initial stuff. It's going to boot up. It already found my Elden Ring save from the USB stick. We click the right click, advanced mode. And yeah, it's going to actually open up. I'm gonna have to wait a second. All right, it opened and now I have to click export to file. What we are going to do is go to the desktop. We are already there and I am going to call it from ps5.txt. I'm gonna save it and now we are going to have our file that is just looking like this, like absolute mess, but don't worry about it. The next thing that we're gonna have to do is to go to the Nexus page and download the Elden Ring Save Editor. This is that tool that we are going to use, which is going there without landing our stuff. Okay, so we have our Save Editor. I'm gonna click on it, it's gonna open, and now, in the top left corner we have open, we are going to desktop, or I am going to desktop, this is where I actually saved my TXT file, here in the bottom right corner we have to choose to go only for the TXT files, yet again it's only for the PlayStation saves, uh, otherwise you gotta have to look for your, for your SL2 file that is in update folder, but we're gonna get to it a little bit later. Here I have it, from PS5, we click, and as you can see, I have here all my save files. Uh, the one that I need to refill is Stilovsky space S, which stands for strength. Uh, you have plenty of options in the save editor. I can, for example, change statistics of my characters just like that. As you can see, you, I can uh, essentially level up and also the level yeah that's that's actually a very important thing if you actually for example accidentally over leveled your character you can literally go back to let's say 125 which is the welding meta yeah i personally use 139 which is probably the best level for invasions honestly because of activity but I digress. Thing that I want to get were the drawstrings and I'm going here to the inventory tab. If we're gonna browse, it's going to turn out 
that I indeed have 30 here, the quantity of 30 at hand, but in the storage box, it's only 46. So I go to the add one and then we got drawstrings here and yeah, quantity 600, sounds about right, click add and it actually says here that Okay, quick editor note, it turns out that Lil Bro in bottom right corner covered console, so I'm gonna show it yet again. Um, the rot uh, greases, I click add, as you can see, it actually mentioned that it added 444 uh, drawstrings. Uh, in the initial video, I also have decided that I'm gonna add myself more supplies or more like refill them. So I added myself the starlight shards, uh, clicked add, and as you can see, it added 171. And also I got myself uh, raw meat dumplings, and uh, as you can see, it added. Uh, 545 uh, so yeah that's how it essentially looks like and yeah back to the original video there is plenty of other stuff uh, in uh, the safe editor that you can do uh, all of these things were tested and they are basically safe and uh, yeah uh, you can even add or remove uh, invading regions this is what region stands for here yeah it's mostly for invaders if you don't want to invade certain regions you can just remove these uh, from uh, from here, yeah? And that's honestly amazing because removing inactive regions for your character just uh, makes it so you are going to invade faster. But I digress yet again. What we're gonna have to do is to save it. I click the save button up there in the top left corner next to the open. And uh, yeah, I am going to save these changes to from PS5 again. Okay, now we have everything saved into that TXT folder. We could technically import things back to the PlayStation, but before I'm gonna do that, I think I'm gonna move myself my mage build from the PC to PlayStation 5. You can also keep your PlayStation saves and PC saves in sync together by simply importing characters. Uh, but uh, for now, I am not going to do that. I am only going to move my character from the PC to PlayStation, like different one. So I open the import character by clicking here and actually I have the save as you can see, most likely in your case, you are going to be it on the desktop, something like that. How you can find your save on the PC is by clicking percentage up data percentage into that bar on the top, click enter, and then in uh, uh, the Elden Ring folder, then bunch of numbers, you are going to see the er 50 sl 2 file, you click it and importer is going uh, to open as you can see. And uh, yeah, what I can do here is um, on the left side, those are like my PC saves. And on the right side, those are my PlayStation saves. I click the Stilowski 137M and on the right side those are essentially uh, slots yeah and I think I'm gonna go like I'm gonna click on the Vagabond Meta 6 because uh, this is a character that I am not using I click import and now I click X but look what happened here on this spot there was Vagabond 6 uh, Meta character and now it is Stilowski 137. I'm gonna click save again. I am going to save uh, these changes actually uh, to uh, the mm, TXT file on the desktop. Let's do it again here. I click TXT, find it. Yes, boom. So all these changes were made. I can honestly close my save editor now. All right, now that we have everything done on the Elden Ring save editor, we're going to have to open the save wizard again and we're going to have to import our save file onto the USB stick. So similarly how we did it before, we open the advanced mode. Okay, it opened. Now on the top right corner, we have import save instead of export. Now we are importing. 
uh, we choose our from underscore ps5.txt file and then we click apply and yes on the warning. Okay, it's almost done. Modifications successfully applied. Great, that's all what we needed. Uh, we can quit the save wizard and now we're gonna have to move our USB stick onto the PlayStation. All right, we are going to the settings, to the save data again. Now, save data PS4. We choose copy or delete from USB drive. We choose copy to console storage and then copy. We are actually waiting. Yes, it's going to copy, it copied, nice. And now we open the game. Okay, we are in the game, gonna have to wait for the uh, connection to the servers. Um, everything's supposed to be fine. We're gonna have, yeah, we receive a normal information, no information about penalty or anything. Uh, as you can see, uh, this character over there, it is my uh, PC character. Yet again, we are on the PlayStation. We can actually click on it to see if things actually move to the PlayStation correctly. There is one issue with the uh, save editor. We are most likely going to be yeeted beneath the map or somewhere where character actually wasn't before. Like, uh, it's a problem with the coordinates. Uh, Clayamor, the creator of the tool, actually working on it, um, but uh, it's harmless essentially. Uh, as we right now actually are on the PlayStation, this is my um, mage build, and yeah, we are essentially on the PlayStation, and that character was on the PC before, but we actually wanted to refill our stuff, like our uh, rod greases on the strength build, so... Let's actually uh, check out if everything worked well there. All right, it was this build. Okay, and well, we wasn't that lucky like on the previous build. We got yeeted beneath the map, but yet again, it actually... It's, it's not harmful in any way, it's just you're going to respawn somewhere. Uh, most likely where he was the last time uh, we got back to the uh, um, Altus Plateau and yeah. Uh, so, let's see, what about my greases? Uh, yeah, stored 600 and also, yeah, maxed out Romy dumplings and refilled starlight shards, yeah. I got everything from the save editor that I needed and yeah, we seems like we are Gucci. So, I think that concludes the guide. This is uh, how I moved my stuff onto the PlayStation, refilled my supplies and so on. Please uh, be aware that uh, this tool was tested for like two months, so it's relatively safe. I cannot wait to see shit tons of comments asking if the tool is actually safe because these people didn't watch the video. You can drop them clown emoji. Oh my god, look at that. This gamer was practicing crouch poking. Beautiful creature. Anyway, that will be about it. I will see you later. I hope you're gonna enjoy Elden Ring Save Editor by Clayamore because that thing is a little masterpiece.